Hi, I'm Anna Hansen. Today I am making a yogurt panna cotta. So first of all, I have 200 mils of cream, 100 mils of milk, about 50 grams of sugar, just a little bit of vanilla to highlight the flavour that's already going to come through from the yogurt. I've got three leaves of gelatine, which I'm just going to soak in this cold water. I'm going to make a lemongrass and vanilla syrup. So I've got about half a cup of demerara sugar, about the same of, I'm using a Sauvignon Blanc. Just gives it a really nice fruitiness. And I'm going to add some more vanilla. And lemongrass, which is fragrant and revitalizing. I have created this rhubarb, vanilla and lemongrass yogurt in collaboration with The Collective. The inspiration behind this flavour was spring really. Forced rhubarb is one of the first fruits to come on the market in the spring season. And lemongrass is one of my favourite flavours because it's so vibrant and refreshing. And I think that combination together just seemed to work. Cut my rhubarb up. So this is simmering away now. I just give it a couple of minutes until it becomes syrupy. You just want enough heat that it's sort of gently cooking. So I'll turn it right down at this stage and put the lid on and just leave it for a couple of minutes. Right, I think this is cooled enough for me to put in the fridge now. For me, yogurt is a great replacement in many desserts instead of using cream. So it's a bit lighter to eat and I also love the texture of it in the panna cotta. It makes it a little firmer and creamier. And now the cream uh, and vanilla mix is cold enough to mix with the yogurt. Into a jug so I can easily pour it into my mould. And now I'm going to put these in the fridge for about six hours so they set. The reason I chose to collaborate with The Collective, I find their flavours inspiring and refreshing. I thought it would be a perfect fit for the kind of flavours that I put together. Now I'm going to make the spice seeds. I have a few sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, and quite a decent pinch of fennel seeds. A little bit of icing sugar. And then I like to just have a squeeze of lemon juice. It's quite important that you bake these on some baking parchment because the sugar will make them stick to the tray otherwise. Spread them out. And now I'm just going to put them in the oven at 160 degrees for 10 minutes. As a part of this collaboration, the collective have amazingly agreed to donate five pence from the sale of every pot of this yogurt to an incredible charity, Action Against Hunger. For me, as a chef who spends all my time feeding people, I find it really horrific that so many people across the globe are undernourished, underfed. So I think whatever we can do to alleviate this situation has to be a great thing. I've been in the fridge for about six hours. I've got a jug of hot water which will loosen the panna cotta from the sides of the mould. A few pieces of our luscious rhubarb. And then to finish, I've got my candied seeds, which are now cool. Scatter on the seeds. And there we have it, yoghurt panna cotta with the collective's rhubarb, vanilla and lemongrass yoghurt.